2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Falcon Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this second round action. I'm Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player starts their round in the lead. What's the game plan for them today? Well, they've, they've got the lead and there is a significant chasing pack so they can't get too wrapped up in what's going on behind them they've got to kind of keep their nose out front they got to keep pushing along and play the golf course don't think about who's chasing you down just think about playing the golf course but if you do find themselves falling back a little bit then they need to go ahead and start making a, a little bit different push maybe come up with a different game plan but right now out in front they just kind of have to play the golf course right now and, and keep that in their sights. Well, that's enough from me. It's time to pull the trigger. Let's get down to the course. Oh, absolutely flushed. Playing from 110 yards out. This one could take a little bounce to the left. And he's safely on the green. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? This one will run uphill. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? He's got a par part here. Let's see if he can make it. So it'll be a par to start their round. That's a rock solid par right there. And with that hole behind us, they're currently in the lead with Tiger Woods in second place. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Mm -mm. A thing of beauty. And he's down there. Setting up here from about 170 yards. Clubbing up, smart. Got to control it though. Let's see. That is absolutely brilliant. Pretty much guarantees a birdie for this player. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. Currently in first position. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. No green in red, but a chance to save their par. Certainly makes putty easy if he can chip it that close. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Here we are at the fourth hole. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. <laughs> Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh, that was left all the way off the club.
I know it hasn't come up exactly how they imagine in their mind, Rich, but you've got to like that play. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? That's a high-quality recovery shot. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Seems to be some sort of a mission he's on today. Trying to make a statement early and often. Leading by six strokes after that one. Teeing off here at the fifth. And only the really long players in the game are going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right-hand side. The shorter player is going to have to hit it out to the left-hand side with maybe not quite a driver. But from there, it's really just a flick of a second shot as this hole is just 424 yards. I'm thinking that every player is looking at this as a birdie opportunity. From about 100 yards. Going with the pitching wedge here. This one's got eyes for the flagstick. Terrific approach and a chance for a birdie here on the fifth. Gets that one to go down and that's back-to-back -back birdies. That's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. Oh, stop it. What a shot. Nine feet to the cup. Looking better. That's impressive. He just keeps extending his advantage over the field. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. Well, this should find the short grass. Henny, what's the player facing here? Setting up here from about 140 yards. Not a bad approach, that one, up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Putting for birdie here. Oh, so close. Putting for a par here. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. He's currently sitting in first place. Time to play one of the one-shotters. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This should play. Oh, 
Oh, this has been a ball striking clinic. Another grin in regulation. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. This is looking solid, what they wanted. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. Now six shots in front after that hole. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Yeah, this is a gift to end on. However, you got to find the fairway really to give yourself the best opportunity. Players are not going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right hand side. And if you hit it right of those trees come into play, bail out to the left. Give yourself a long iron second shot into this massive green. Lots of runoff areas all around this green. But what a great opportunity to end this front nine with possibly an eagle three. Opting for the five wood. Uh, that's going right. Yeah, this is the stuff we love. Getting after this par five in two. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? This is downhill. Can't be too bold. Oh, what a great stroke. Oh, what a big putt to make that one. Our leader is currently enjoying an eight shot advantage. Let's see what happens here at the 10th hole. Well, there's no doubt this player is standing on the tee sky high after making the eagle at the last. Wow, what a shot. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Already has four wins under the belt this year. And here we are with the third shot. Ooh, that almost went down. Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. Such soft hands. This putt coming up is for birdie. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. Lovely effort, that. This shot is about 140 yards out. A wonderful shot. A chance for Bernie here on the 11th. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Get excited. This could go in. Well done. Take the birdie. Back to back birdies never hurt, Rich. Kind of like it. He's feeling it. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Luke, this is by far the scariest shot on this golf course. The runoff area to the left is severe. That golf ball will definitely run back into the hazard unless they catch a fantastic break. Players are definitely be bailing out to the right, but make sure you come up short and right because you want no part of that greenside bunker. And this from the greenside rough. Wow, 
from a dodgy lie, Rich. How special was that? Not a good lie. Fortunate to hit the pin and go in. And it's time to recap that play. Yeah, Seve would be envious of this one. What a chip in. Leading by a potentially insurmountable 11 strokes after that one. Not sure why I said potentially. Now on the tee after a birdie. Fired up and ready for more. Second shot here on their 13th hole. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Good shot there, Beamer. This putt's about four feet from the hole. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Yes, they've made it. Still in the lead now after that hole. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. Oh, that was pure. This shot from around 210 yards. Well, that's beautifully judged. 11 feet to the cup. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. Well played. What an eagle. And now that finds him in first place. Well, they'll be looking to use that momentum they generated on the last with an eagle. Needs this one to kick right. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. And what's in front of them there, Henny? By my estimation, he's got around 170 here. <laughs> and
Outstanding shot. High quality. Birdie at the last. This for another. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. This for a birdie birdie run. Looking really good, this one. Oh, what a super shot. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And that fine play ensures they hold top spot on the leaderboard with John Rahm trailing in second place. Ting off here on the 17th hole. How is he going to play this? Lay back or go for it and extend his lead. Look at that. I think he likes it. Ah, oh, don't you love the long ball, Rich? Driving a par four. Is there a few things more thrilling in the game? Oh, what a play. You know that. I love it when players are aggressive. Way to go. What a shot. Starting to look really good. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. And let's have one more look at that shot. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Hey guys, we are checking in with John Rahm as he gets set for his next shot here on the 18th. Oh. Obviously dialed in there, but not an easy shot. Super stuff. Here we have it, trying to feed off the eagle and build on that momentum here. That's nicely done. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? This whole location for him, well, it's about 185 yards out. This one is right down the pipe. Oh, and what a way to finish. Carding an eagle on the final hole. What a beauty. Oh, what a talent. Gets it to go. Simply delicious. And Rich, as this round comes to an end, this place.